Okay, and now we are beginning our next installment, book number two. Yeah, once again, all science and materials, copyright March 17, 2000, by me, Christian Weston Chandler. Any names or persons illustrated in any of the science and comic books except that of myself that may seem similar to anyone in real life or fiction are purely coincidental or otherwise parodic. Anyway, here's the cover of book number two. It's like the basic origin of, like, you know, how I got my transformation capabilities. Episode 7, Ancient Prophecy. In the mountain areas, there is there is this cave protected by a couple of surrounded by a couple of stone statues, and Sanchez is just whizzing around checking things out as what they run. And they he whips by the uh, cave. He's like, "Oh, this is the first time." And he's like, backtracking, looks at it, and then he reads on the statue of the one of the stone tablets. It says, "Only the creature and his master of the prophecy may enter this destiny cave." Creature and master of prophecy? Yes, only those of the prophecy, says the nearby stone tablet, which turns out to be an old man. Forgive me, for I am the keeper of the destiny cave. Oh, my stars. Oh, my stars. You, you are the creature of the prophecy. We have much to discuss. A while passes by after Sanchi and the old man discusses the uh, situation. Then Sanchi whizzes back to me and tells me about the situation. And so I reply, So, let me get this straight. You found a cave and an old man guarding it. The old man elaborated that you are the prophesized creature. It says, I am your creator and father. I am the prophesized master. And I am able to receive a special power by entering the cave with you and the cave keeper. Is this true? Yeah, I know it seems far-fetched. But the, the, with the cave carvings, I say it's worth a shot, sir. Okay. And then we both head, then we both head on over to the cave. I took my car, and Sanchi just waved for me over there. And the old man greeted us. He said, "Come, let's fulfill the prophecy." So the two of us are uh, marveling the uh, cave drawings. They say do seem accurate, while the old man elaborates. It was prophesied by the ancient masters that a re reincarnation of our leader will take pen in hand to combine a mouse and a hedgehog and give birth to a new electric creature. Then the leader will place his handmade medallion on the pedestal and release the powers that were his, as well as his ladies and rivals' powers. The powers will transform you all into the electric creatures with variable powers of good, bad, and peace. Also, an evil will sh strike the day the original electrical creature finds his cave. Only the released powers can defeat the evil. What? By finding this cave, I've released an evil? Sh Boy, do I feel special. Science, you. It's not your fault. So, to jar, the e jar this evil, I have to release the ancient powers? I'll do it. That is correct, sire. Then stand over there, and I'll perform the chant. All right, so I place my medal on the pe my medal on my on the metal pedestal, and then the uh, two other columns have with their items open up, and then the and the old man does his chat. I know as I like a mo orc, it can bo it can mo ah uh ah. -uh. Which backwards it can sound like. Lombaki Creo Plomo Clea Zona. Aha. <laughs> Take that, Zorak. And then my medal levitates and it comes towards me, and then and I'm filled with a power, and I'm starting to fill with a power. And Sanchez is just nearby. He's like, Sir? Chris? And I'm in a daze, and then. In my head, I was I was intercepted by a by an ancestor. I am the ancient leader of the Cherokee clan. Where am I, Sanchu? Oh man, what's going on here? You are Christian Chandler, my reincarnation. Oh, okay. I'm impressed. With the powers you have released comes great responsibilities. Use your powers to help others and yourself when necessary. Your rival will show up to fight you, but your lady friend, Gao Pao, will help you against him and the evil. Do you understand? Yeah, 
I understand. Now to access your powers, place your hands on your Sanchi medallion, feel the powers within you, and say electric hedgehog power. Try it once to return to Sanchi. Thank you, ancestor. I will do my best. Take care, Christian. Electric hedgehog power! <laughs> Da da! Christian Sanchu! Papa? Papa? Sanchu? Yeah. And it looks like you are too. What? And then I look, I mean, I'm looking at Sanchu when they're talking, and, and I look down. Oh, wait a minute, where are my shirt sleeves? I look down, and I notice my body's changed a little bit. And then I got a tail? Sanchu, fetch me a mirror! Okay, I found one. Now look into it, and then I realize I am a Sanchu too. <gasps> I see. This must be part of my new powers. Cool! Uh, and then Sanji says, Uh, Papa? I'm pretty much freaked out by all this. Let's just snap out of here. Okay, let's go. Meanwhile, after re having released the powers, the uh, beams of light with their, with their items levit teleport towards the respective owners. Another medal goes to Walter Grisby, age 25. And then the and then the power braces go towards Nicole Rammer, age twenty two, my gal pal and friend. They were sweethearts for a little while, but they they broke up. Ah, oh. huh? What? See, we continued in the next video. Stay tuned.